There we go. I know what I'm doing. It's another exciting episode of playing that one hero and still not deciding what I'm going to call this, turning the sound down, because this is a ritual that we have with this channel. So, we're playing Alarak, Remain. and then we're in Storm League, and things are good because this character recently Five, got buffed. Four, um, three, two, one. <sighs> Not in not in a way that I'm I'm specifically going to be using in this game, but the way that he got buffed prior to this most recent buff is kind of uh, it's it's getting my the juices flowing back in a uh, a direction for his his one much more melee burst build rather than building with lightning and scaling into late game. Um, we're going to take Ruthless Momentum at level 1. We're going to have our W up so often and so much that yanking people out of position is going to be our whole goal. And then killing the ever-loving shit out of them with our Q is, is the backup plan. So um, one thing that you might notice during this game in particular is this character does a fuck ton of damage. And it usually comes online right around the middle you of the game. So you don't have to wait until the game is over Take to do all your damage. Um, like you kind of do with the E build. Uh, with your your lightning build, you're going to scale from level 1 and from level 7. But like your huge damage spike is your 16 where you can just zap zap people. Um, with this build, your, your level 1 is insanely strong. Ignore that. I didn't, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, because your W is off cooldown, the higher health you are, faster. The cooldown is cut in half. So, uh, basically, you recharge it faster. You can pull people out of position when they're standing in stupid places much more often. And then... Your uh, your Q, like I said, just does an obscene amount of damage. So, um, and then at level four, we're gonna take Chaos Reigns, which is the talent that buffs your Q. Uh, it's the quest talent that gives you extra damage every time that you hit somebody with your Q. If you hit two people with it, that's a quest in and of itself. If you hit three people with it, it completes all the quests. So, looking for the three-person Q is super good, but at the same time, uh, you guys standing all up in my shit. Punch him again, punch him one more time. He's gonna heal all that punch back, so we'll just zap him in the butt and get hit by his fucking bad. Um, anyway, so we're, we're now at scaling. Mouth heal's dead, so now we've got 3% sadism extra. Um, oh, you know what? I don't think this Seven is the talent that I'm thinking. Um, but four is is chaos range. That's where all the damage comes in. Uh, once you complete the quest, you're dealing. Up, like I just I, I can't tell you how much damage you're gonna be doing with your Q once you complete the quest, or you hit three people, which is fucking amazing feeling. BTW. Um, and then at seven, once that rolls around, we're going to take. You can still take Applied Force, because uh, Applied Force does yoink people really hard out of position. Um, it lets you be really, really far back, too, to engage that. So it's it's definitely the stronger talent of the tier, but you lose 10% sadism when you do it. And I don't normally like to do that. I should have pulled him. I'm just going to miss... I'm That's... This bright wing was juking the ever-loving shit out of me in this game. Um, I don't know necessarily because it was intentional, but she was just like going in so many stupid directions, and I had no idea. Trying to get there to cure her in time, but it doesn't matter because the guy she was teleporting to died anyway. So go up. Um. Yeah, what was I doing? Oh God, polymorphed. Pull, and we're out. In case you weren't aware, you can move yourself with Alarak with your W. It's pretty fucking neat. It's really cool. A little escape and 
It, it's a very, very strong utility ability. <laughs> utility ability. Get it? Going to try to help Gera. Actually, he's just dead. Even if we push Diablo out of the way. Just gonna get the free stack on our Q. It takes some health off a of gym boy there. We're about halfway done with our quest. Brightwing is coming in. We're not gonna get the Raider kill. We're focusing the tank right now. Not doing a very good job killing the Raider. I don't know. Uh, I, I wasn't. Just, I just wasn't paying attention because I couldn't get close enough to auto the Raider or the Brightwing, right? But the tunnel vision a little bit hard there on the Diablo, even though he got ridiculous amounts of health. Let's see. Oh, uh, but at 7, the talent that I took, I took Dissonance. So, Dissonance, what it does is increases the... Hey! You're welcome! Um, what it does is increases the silence duration on your Q, which is normally... Let's take Eek! 1.5 seconds, and it adds another 0.75 seconds. So, suddenly it goes up to... Math is hard. 2.25 seconds worth of silence. And in the face of a Malthiel who just wants to slap his Q button all day, that is an incredibly useful uh, incredibly useful ability. Talent. Whatever. It's a thing. You know what I mean. Um, yeah, and then at 10, we just take Counter-Strike because when they do ultimately engage on us, the, uh, the False Dead Lightning Rod is going to have a lot of damage coming in. Diablo is going to be spewing fire all over the place. Uh, get the Q. There it is. We got the doubled quest there. Rhaegar did not hit the uh, Ancestral in time. And now he's going to get bloody blocked and killed because he's just not very good at noticing things that are happening. Which is fine. It's okay. Um, but we're at 11 stacks on our quest. We're almost done. We only need 15, I think it is. 15. And we've already got our two heroes in a single cast, so that's good for us. Park that back there. Oh no, I fucked it up. Hey, alright, camera's back. So, at this point, I think we're gonna get that mouth heal kill. Fucking awesome. Uh, you'll notice that the mouth heal decided to go. Oh. Uh, Malthiel decided to go the uh, not last rights alt. I can't remember what it's fucking called. Tormented Souls. I know things. The fuck Rainer. Missed the false dead because the U did, or the R did not go off in the time frame that I was hoping it would. But that's okay. We have the channel right now, and they're coming in towards us. Got. Didn't run towards them. Get him! Get, yeah, punch him! Alright, get out of the APOC. Can we pull the mouth heal? Nope. We're gonna push him away instead. That's okay. Uh, as long as we combo mouth heal, he can't use his Q and he should die. So, that's how that matchup works. We just can't miss him if we're aiming for him. Which isn't necessarily hard because he likes to jump all over fucking people, especially with that build. So, uh, the bottom shrine needs capping. We're still not done with our quest. See if we can bring her. Got him. Two stacks to go. Go ahead and open up. Come on. Nope, he's gone. Just barely missed him with our Q. Oh, that was a big gust. We gotta get the lightning for some heals. Nope, we're just dead. That's okay. We got another Q stack. We're only one shot of completion, which is going to double the damage of the Q. The base Q damage. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's how that quest works. And then uh, from there, once our sadism starts flying to it, it is going to go absolutely fine. So, the quest is almost done. We're still here in mid game. Rhaegar and Jada have it themselves, uh, like. They're on, on two opposite sides of, of the looking glass. They're like, I can see you, but. I can't touch you. Ah. And here we are, back in this stage where we're just going for a camp. Uh, enemy team is going to channel that bottom shrine. 
and I am focusing on the false dad instead of stopping the person on the shrine because I figured that the false dad was going to try and stop me anyway, which sucks. Lost two people in the top lane, that's okay. We do have some pretty decent uh, dragon burn. Dragon burn. Dragon clear, whatever, dragon damage. So, uh, all of our, our sadism applies to the dragon because it counts as a hero. So, the more that we hit it with our Q and our lightning and everything, the more damage we're going to do. Jaina has some pretty wicked damage on it too. And, you know, Rhaegar, obviously, not great, but it, it's still damage. So, he's pretty much almost dead. I'm trying to cut over here to help, and we'll take Q take the damage. Dragon should be dead. Diablo is going to get away because we kind of left him. But that's fine because the dragon was still up and we don't want the dragon getting easy. Easy objective value. I thought for sure they were going to be on the camp, but I guess not. Going to get polyed. I really don't like being polyed, but at the same time, it's better use it on me while I'm moving in the direction rather than while I'm in the middle. <laughs> Oh, that fucking ancestral! Thank you, handsome orc wolf dude. So I've got all my health back, and I am ready to start slapping fools. We also have our level 13 power spike, which is insanely strong if your team likes to die, because we've taken pure malice rather than blade of the high lord or uh, right of rex here, mainly because. I didn't have a whole lot of confidence in my teammates to stay alive in this game. No flame, just kind of... Yeah. Let's go fight on the point! Get some Q damage out. Nobody procced my, my R. Let's see if we can pull these guys in. Do entire health bars of damage to right wing with one Q. Totally worth it. Can we get the zap? We can pull him in, and then we can get stunned because he can't handle us. Oh, Malfield's gonna get away. That's okay. Malfield's gone. Rhaegar's down. We're gonna get the false status of consolation for us, and this is happening. That's. Oh, God. I can't. I don't want to go in there because the minions are dead, and maybe if I had gone in there. We would have killed him, but at the same time, I didn't want to take a chance dying. And look at how much health he has, you know? It's all gone. Because he doesn't know where to stand. And he doesn't understand that I pull people into places that they don't want to be. And then I kill them. It's like being mugged, except it's video. You know? Does that make me a mugger? Kinda, yeah. And that's a terrible thing. But at least it's a video game, and not real life. In real life, I'm a wonderfully nice person, and I would never steal your wallet or hold you at knife point. So let's see if we can get this Rainer, get the silence on, and big taunt there, blowing him up with our Counter-Strike. Well, that flying in way too late. He's trying to dodge my W. He's just like, oh, Jesus, did you see how much damage that was? Oh. We're at 158% sadism right now, so we are hitting like a fucking truck with our Q. And our Q is just kind of there to secure kills. We got four stacks on our pure malice because people have been dying, and that is okay. Because they just feed me. Now we're going to get this dragon because the enemy team is not in a position to stop us. Get over there and stop him, please. Thank you. Now we're going to go run this bad boy bottom, light their bottom fort up, go for the keep too, because we have a huge push here with the giants and the minions. False dead. There's the clear. He's trying to clear it from a safe distance, but the water elemental is going to hold that bush down and scare him away. Enemy team thinks that they can push as hard as us in the top lane with what they've got. That is incorrect. Jaina does... Uh, really, really strong burst on the buildings. We've got the dragon. We've also got Varian, which is going to block all of Rainer's shit. Flat buildings. And, uh, here we are. I don't... 
Falstad is doing the most damage to me as uh, as the dragon. I have seen enough. Oh really? Are you gonna blink in again? You did. Now you can't do anything. Now you're dead. Oh. Gonna make sure Diablo dies too. Not get hit by the APOC. Go us. Varian still chasing down the Falstad and the bright wing. Looks like we've got ourselves a Rainer. Hit him with the Q and make sure he just doesn't do anything at all. Three people dead, just knocked down to keep. We got a few more kills, and this is game. We have the Varian, who's just going to slap buildings. We have the Jaina, who's got the building damage. And to be honest with you, I can just kind of stand here. Make sure that the other fuckers don't come in. Let's fuck our shit up. Oh, that shit. Thank you for the Ancestral. But, we're done. We finished the game. We had the Twin Blades and the Jane to kill in the building. We zoned the False Dead at the Bright Wing just good enough. And then we took ourselves to the MVP. Even though it looks like we have a giant elephant on our crotch. With four eyes. It does look like an elephant, doesn't it? Like, don't, don't tell me it doesn't. Because it does. It does. Anyway. Here are the stats, 7 and 2 with 59,000 hero damage. Malthiel almost caught me, but he also has 7 deaths. Can you fucking imagine being that guy? Here are your talents. We didn't make it to 20, but we got our Ruthless Momentum at 1. We've got our Chaos Reigns at 4, Dissonance at 7, Counter Strike at 10, Pure Malice at 13, the one uh, thing that I didn't talk about in this build is Mocking Strikes. We kind of got this right near the end. Had this game gone to 20, though, this ability would have really, really skyrocketed our damage uh, in teamfights. Because it's going to reduce your cooldowns by massive amounts when you're hitting Stunned, Silenced, Slowed, or Root. Basically, CC'd heroes. Um... And with our Q, they're silenced forever. With Jaina's entire kit, they're slowed forever. Uh, Garrosh has a slow and it's done. Varian has a slow. And then Rhaegar's totem is a slow. So we have an entire team capable of proccing this level 16 talent to reduce our cooldowns even more than they already are. And with all of our damage being in our Q, which is on... An a decent cooldown. Having that up more is going to let us do more burst damage faster. So I think this talent is really, really, really good for this build in specific situations like this one. So anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, oh, right, and if we had gotten to 20, I probably would have just taken uh, Deadly Charge because uh, I had absolutely no concerns about the other team killing me. So, yeah, thanks for hanging out. I hope that you enjoyed it, and as always, I will catch you next time.